Some people seem to think that when you go vegan, you have to change everything about yourself. Like we're a cult that you have to be initiated into with some sort of lettuce, tofu, melon sacrifice ritual. I'm here to tell you, that's not the case. I mean, come on, it's not like we're gonna rob you of your identity by shaving your head and branding you as one of our own. Okay, that was a bad example. But in all seriousness, you don't have to change your religion, movie preferences, the music that you like, the books you like to read, your favorite activities, your political outlook, what you do in your downtime, your sense of humor, your job, which side of the street you drive on. Frankly, I would not advise changing that whatsoever. Let's take the reasons for going vegan that we've gone over so far. First was the environment. So maybe you don't care about the environment. Guess what? You can be a vegan and still drive your SUV and still take really long showers. Going vegan doesn't mean that you instantly have to carry around pocket mulch and use a solar-powered cell phone. And now for our second reason, health. Maybe you're not a health nut. Get ready to take on the full meaning of couch potato. There is a wide array of vegan junk foods out there. So you can go vegan, have a cruelty-free diet, and still give your health the big F you. This brings us to our third reason, morality. Maybe you're not concerned about the suffering of animals. In fact, maybe you don't like animals at all. Veganism is the best way to have absolutely nothing to do with animals whatsoever. You don't have to eat them. You don't have to use them. You don't have to interact with them at all. So if you hate animals, vegan is actually the way to go. Now, concerning world hunger, the national debt, and your colon, if you don't want to stop the aggressive bleeding out of the country's finances or help the starving children of our world, you might be an asshole, which means colon health is going to be the very most important reason for you to go vegan. Even those of us who are giant assholes need to care for those holes properly. And nothing does that better than a healthy vegan diet. And lastly, some people think that veganism just doesn't gel with every lifestyle. You hear things like, I can't be vegan because I'm athletic. I mean, I need energy and endurance. And everyone knows that vegans are weak. You can't be strong without meat. I want to have muscle. I mean, real muscle. I want to look like an absolute beast. And I know that I have to eat meat in order to do that. The only way to get big is to load up on animal protein. And vegans definitely can't jump. I can't go vegan. I'm the funny one. Vegans always take themselves so seriously and have absolutely no sense of humor whatsoever. And they're just no fun at all. I can't be vegan. I'm in a band. I'm a singer, a guitarist, a bassist, a musician. Everyone knows that badass musicians can't be vegan. And hasn't it been scientifically proven that musical talent is directly related to meat, dairy, and egg consumption? Well, I'm going to be an actor, and outside of acting like I'm vegan, I don't think it's something I can do. Well, I'm a scientist, a biochemist, an entrepreneur, a writer, a physicist, a dancer, a civil rights leader. But I love Jesus. I can't be vegan. I'm lazy. I want the hardest part of my day to be deciding when to lay down. So as you can see, there's no typical vegan. Go ahead and keep all of your opinions, your personality. Just stop being a dick to the animals. You don't have to become one of us. Join me next time when I'll go over the secret vegan handshake, this month's password, in the new location of our headquarters.